What are we doing today? Ah, very good question. We're going to be drawing a profile. What does that mean? Good question. A profile is an artwork showing the side view of a person's face or an animal. Can you spell the word profile? P-R-O-F-I-L-E Ah, very good. Today, we're not focusing on a, an animal's face. We're going to be focusing on a human face. Just remember, it's the side view of a person's face or an animal's face. Now, there are simple strategies that can be used even though it may look complicated or complex, we can simplify it by using some symbols that we're familiar with. And that's a good place to start. Now, what symbol is this? It's a question mark. Ah, very good. And even though it's used in English, and that's a comma, it's also used in art. Let's see how we're going to make the problem of drawing the profile simpler. What are those symbols? Parentheses. Excellent. Again, these are used in different subjects. So you're familiar with them and that's the good thing. Just trying to sensitize you on things that you're familiar with and how we can use it to do art. So it is used in math and it has different meaning when you're doing math from when you're doing the art. Also in English. So, the parentheses can be used in many ways. So, that's the punctuation there, um, shaped like the question mark or a comma. Look at that wavy line that we're familiar with. So, we're familiar with that. Could be a bird flying, could be mountain ranges, right? Could be waves and the parentheses. Let's look at how it can be used. Step two, after we draw the question mark sign. We draw one parenthesis, the one on the left. In the Caribbean, we call it open bracket uh, or close bracket. Notice when that open bracket is at the top, the different position we put them in and the close bracket just below, kind of shaped like an S. Do you see it? It's a wavy line. Yes. Awesome. So I kind of leave the breaks between those lines for you to see the different line quality. Eventually we can connect them, but for now, to make things less complicated as we progress, we leave them as broken lines. Do you remember broken lines when we were looking at the different characteristics of lines? Yes. Excellent. Just as how we looked at wavy line, dotted line, broken line. In this case, we have a wavy broken line. So notice where the open bracket, so I'm going to call the parentheses open bracket. And that's a number? That's number three. Ah, <laughs> obviously. So we're going to draw the number three in a reverse way, kind of like a mirror effect backwards. You'll start to see the profile already. The three could be a bird. What symbol is that beside the bird? Those two symbols. That's a greater than sign and that's a less than sign. Ah, good. Less than sign and greater than sign. What do we use them in what subject area? We mostly use them in math. Perfect. So that's the less than sign. Let's see what we can do it with it. We double the line and what does it look like to you? It kind of looks like a mouth. Oh, Good, perfect. An open mouth. Someone who is having a conversation like us having a dialogue right now. Correct? Correct. Very good. What else can we do with it? Look closely and you'll see what we're going to do with it. So we put the close bracket there. And what do you see? I see an eye. You see an eye? Uh, is it looking forward? Yes. Right, so 
That's the side view of an eye. That's how you draw it. Let's continue. That would look like a parenthesis turn mm, in a different direction, rotated. So that's a closed eye, just what you just saw there. So the parentheses could draw simple things such as the eyebrow, the cheek, that's the open bracket. I'm going to call the parentheses brackets, like what we do in the Caribbean, just to make it simpler for you to remember. That's the closed bracket right there. So you just got to know when to put the open bracket and when to put the closed bracket. You're starting to see the profile, right? Yes. Isn't that cool? Yes. Absolutely. All right. So after we did the huge question mark, oh, what does that look like? Yep. It looks like a, a question mark that is tilted. Yep. And when you're fishing, what do you use? A fishing hook. A fishing hook. Awesome. And that's for the nose. See that? What does that look like? That's a heart. Okay, it's made up of the number three, turned upside down like a bird, sideways to be correct, to be specific, and the less than sign turns upside, sideways, looks like a V, now it looks like a heart that is broken, when we rotate the heart, broken heart, or divide it into two, it looks like the lip. Perfect. It looks like the lips. So that's how we simplify drawing. There's another closed bracket. As you're doing just below the lips. And a closed bracket. Or open bracket that's turned uh, on its side. Rotate. Yes? Yes. For the chin. Isn't that amazing? How yeah. we can simplify things. Uh, that seems complex with things that we're familiar with. Do you think that's a good approach to drawing? Yes. Absolutely. The only thing left for us to do normally is to apply our shading techniques. Um, so one feature that is left out that we need to put on. What do you think? What's missing there? The hair. And what do you listen to through? Oh, your ears. Perfect. So we need to add the ears. Do you remember the symbol that we used to draw the back of the head? The first symbol? A question mark? Ah, we can use that. Do you know that we can use the same question mark to simplify drawing the ears? No. Ah, look at it now. Like you're making a comma. That's the same approach. Cool. Yeah. So, once we remember these steps, the only thing else that is left for us to become good at doing this is what? I'll tell you. You want me to tell you? In order to get better at driving, what do you have to do? Get your driver's license. In order to be good at anything, sport, what do you have to do? You got to practice and practice. That's the word. That's the secret. Ah, uh, perfect. You have to do what? Say it again. Practice. Practice. Practice makes... Perfect. And I would say perfect. Thank you so much. Hope you had fun. And always remember these simple steps. You make complex things very simple. So these are called, this is what we call problem solving skills. Look at the things you're familiar with and start with what you know and then explore. Try things. Uh, so we see the less than sign. Let's look at it again. The greater than sign. We see the parentheses. Um, what shading technique was that a while ago with the build-up of lines going in parallel? So what? Mm, hatching. You remember the hatching technique? Yes. All right, so this is the digital um, 
platform so it's an interactive board you may want to call it smart board so the same thing repeated for emphasis and just to show you that we're putting these things together to make a, like a Lego toy you're actually putting different parts together you just got to have the knowledge of how to put these things where to put them all right once you find out that you start practicing and we know that each individual has a unique feature as unique qualities we can always look at a person and try to draw them from sideways with this knowledge yep Thank you.